and just punch a few trees and you're good to go. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 games where survival is everything. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be taking a look at those games where you got nothing to keep you alive but your wits and what you can create from them. Whether the games have you braving extreme weather, exploring underwater, or mashing two items together until they become something useful, if surviving is your core goal or gameplay loop, it's eligible for this list. We'll be focusing on games that are centered around crafting and scavenging, so games like PUBG, which is technically about surviving, still isn't eligible. Oh, look at that textbook. Number 10, Conan Exiles. What will you do, Exile? when there is nothing left but to live or die. Despite delays and a rocky early access start, this game has come a long way. A lot of the bugs that plagued the game in the beginning have since been ironed out, and we have a fairly optimized games on our hands now. Set in the Conan the Barbarian universe, players begin with absolutely nothing and have just one goal, survive. While it follows your standard survival genre gameplay, there are a plethora of things to do, and the game's world is massive. Combat's also visceral and bloody, and your building options are actually only limited by your imagination. Number 9. This War of Mine I lived through hell with these people. We were a group. We would do anything. Oh man, this game left us emotionally drained and kinda scarred. This War of Mine is not only about survival in the physical aspect thereof, but making sure our minds also remain intact. Set during wartime, the choices you make can't be defined as good or bad, as the aim of the game is to keep yourself and your group alive, no matter the cost. You can give commands to your party members, scavenge for supplies, and make sure your base is running up to scratch. But looking outside at the devastation makes you wonder if it's truly worth it. Number 8, Terraria. Coming off the grim and depressing This War of Mine is the bright and colorful Terraria. With its poppy music and retro art style, players can explore the randomly generated world, craft, dig down, and fight monsters. There's a lot of mysterious and magical items to be crafted too, all of which aid you in your battles with the many bosses in the game. Playing cooperatively is also a blast with friends, and it makes inventory management and monster slaying a bit easier to handle. Number 7, State of Decay. This game is about as close to The Walking Dead TV show as you're gonna get in terms of survival and resource management. But not story, because they have a game for story. Anyway, stakes are high and the zombies are always threatening, obviously, right? Games these days usually don't have permanent consequences, but State of Decay pressures you to always be on your toes. If someone in your crew dies, they're dead for good, you see. No response for them. So whether you're defenseless against the army of undead or armed to the teeth, you still better not let your guard down. Number 6, Ark Survival Evolved. Ah uh, yes, mining, crafting, base building, and dinosaurs. What else could you want? Well, maybe to be able to tame and ride them? Well, it's got that too. With its unique spin on the survival genre, Ark delivers in not just the crafting aspect, but also in the progression and action aspects too. It even technically has a story narrative you can follow, which pits you against big bosses. While you begin the game throwing spears and making stuff from sticks, you eventually become more technologically advanced in your creations, and that's when the game truly shines. Number 5, Minecraft. Ah, Minecraft, probably the most well-known of all the survival games on this list, and there's a reason for that. With its voxel graphics and its easy to use interface, the game is basically accessible to everyone, whether you're an adult or a kid. And whether you're an adult or a kid, you'll find something to enjoy in there. You can craft, explore, fight bosses, build huge castles, and partake in a variety of different games, basically. Players are constantly crafting, excuse the pun, new game types. So you have really no excuse to let the experience get stale. Number 4, Don't Starve. Wow, 
Well, starving will kill you, so will the monsters, as well as your general curiosity. Here you play as a scientist, so you might as well experiment with everything, right? There is a sandbox mode, and there's a story-based adventure mode, too. Its isometric view always keeps you wondering what lies ahead, and its art style will give you the feeling of nostalgia for something you can't really remember. Those elements, coupled with the inventive things that you can craft, create a unique experience that deserves to be played. Number 3. Subnautica For any video game developers out there that want to dabble in this genre, play this one and take some notes. Seriously, the mood and atmosphere here are unparalleled, and the sense of isolation and foreboding truly push you to traverse the waters, gather materials, and craft your way to survival. Explore the ocean depth as you avoid running out of oxygen, as well as alien sea creatures. Some biomes are also genuinely beautiful to look at, while others will have you wanting to see the surface as fast as you can. Warning, maximum depth reached, hull damage imminent. Number 2. The Long Dark The biggest piece of praise we can give The Long Dark is its visceral and punishing portrayal of desolation and survival. The fact that this game's conditions beat you down at pretty much every turn makes these small victories you achieve that much more rewarding, though. It's a game about choice, in which survival should be the only outcome. The game design is extremely well thought out, too, in the fact that anything you do is probably going to have a negative drawback to it. For instance, carrying a lot of supplies will slow you down, and whether you want to risk starving to death or face the extreme weather while slow is kind of up to you. We'll have to choose how far we'll go to survive. Number 1. Rust After spending many years in Alpha, this game finally had a full release in February of 2018. As if surviving weather and wildlife wasn't difficult enough, now there's hordes of other players to contend with, too. That's what makes playing Rust such an exhilarating experience. The game blends gameplay elements from all of the best survival games out there, and throws you into an intense PvP Royal Rumble. You'll have to keep coming back online to make sure you're still safe in this hostile world, too. The last thing you'll want is for you to log on, look up, and see someone smash your face in with a rock. But that sense of dread is also what makes it a blast to play. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.